everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Kathy. On the show today, I'm refreshing my makeup and vanity station. I know I've done it several times before here on YouTube and I've shown you all, but I really love this space. This corner of my bedroom is one of my favorite areas. It's my go-to area in the morning. I do my hair, my makeup, I put some music on, I drink my coffee and I just prepare myself for a busy work week or day ahead. I really like this area and I think it needs the respect that it deserves for all my gorgeous things like my makeup and my jewelry and all those things that I just love to play with when I'm here at home. Good morning guys, it's pretty early. I slept in my pearls last night and my hair is very tangled so please excuse my appearance and I have no makeup on yet. So this is the empty space. I've just cleared everything out. I've taken everything off the shelves. I've wiped it down. This mirror is vintage. We've had it for a really long time. It was in another area of the home and now it's in my vanity. The mirror is resting on this acrylic stand I picked up from Muji. This is everything that I'm working with. I'm gonna try and incorporate everything that you see here back into my wardrobe. My inspiration and focal point is going to be my Louis Vuitton Nice BB makeup or cosmetics case. Really love this thing, it's just like luggage. And that is the inspo for this whole rearrangement of my vanity space. So I've also changed out the paper that is gonna line the bottom of the shelf and this paper is from Rifle Paper Co and I absolutely love everything from Rifle Paper Co. I've measured and trimmed the wrapping paper accordingly and that's the stand that I was telling you that I picked up from Muji and I've also put like a little bit of a non-slip mat on top of it and that's what the mirror will rest on. So I've placed that smack bang in the middle, I measured it out and that's a really good base to start with. I've then added this trivet or pot holder that I purchased from a homeware store to raise the marble slab that will go on top of that to bring it in line with the mirror. For a touch of glam and class, I've added this marble serving platter which will act as a platform to put my makeup items on. And see how it's resting on the trivet? It's just raised above the floor and because it's so solid, it's not going anywhere. I love a combination of rose gold with pink, marble and yellow gold and I've added these pieces to create a very feminine yet glamorous look. I repurposed a glass trinket box and I think it looks really nice against the rose gold and the marble. I've rearranged and condensed some of my most used makeup items and I've put them in this easy to reach corner here. The next item I've added is this two drawer acrylic makeup stacker from Muji and this is perfect to house all of my compacts and face powders. Keeping with the stone and marble theme, this candle holder holds only the essential eye products. Mascara, eyebrows, eyebrow gel, spoolie, eyeliner, that sort of thing. I love fresh flowers, but these Forever Silk peonies will do just fine. I've placed them in the crystal vase my mum gave me, and this is resting on top of another one of those acrylic stands from Muji. And lastly, I've added some gorgeous scented candles and the focal point, which is my Louis Vuitton Nice BB cosmetic case. And if you want to see a video on what I pack when I travel in my Nice BB, let me know in the comments below. Overall, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it's a very beautiful and functional space. I look forward to the start of each day knowing this peaceful corner of our room is just for me. I hope you found this video helpful and has inspired you in many ways. Please stay tuned for the end for some bonus tips. My first tip is to declutter. Keep 
only the items that you reach for and use all the time on a regular basis and items that you absolutely love. If it's broken or doesn't work, throw it out and start again. Tip number two, group similar metals and textures together for a more cohesive look. Use the same paper to line your storage items to tie the pieces together. Tip number three, further to grouping similar items, Pots in this section here, makeup brushes all in one area, palettes, eyeshadows and powders laid flat so I can reach them easily. And to take that a step further, arrange the compacts by brand, shape and style. This way they're easy to find and replace to keep the area neat and tidy. It makes sense to me to group my makeup by the way it's applied to my skin. Tip number four. Dust often, add mirrors, flowers and lighting for extra glam. Tip number five. My last tip is be creative with your functional storage items. Makeup remover wipes are in this trinket box traditionally reserved for jewellery. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing. Thanks so much for watching and have a top stay.